Hey, I'm Jay from the Cubs Scouts. Welcome back to another episode of Free Random Games. A series where I find some of the most random games out there in the internet, and I play them for you right here in this video. I can't promise that they're going to be any good, but I can promise that we're going to have some fun. So if you guys cool with that, you're down with that. Everybody get ready and buckle up, because here we go! First game of today's episode is called Stranger on the Phone. It looks like the stranger is directly outside of our window because we are playing as this person right over here. If I saw this dude just standing outside looking into my house, I would have just smacked him with something the head. What are you talking about? He wouldn't even be on the phone because I would have smacked him so hard. It would have put some common sense into him. But here's my phone. This is straight from the 1600s. I think Jesus used that phone. But that's not a mirror. This looks like a portal to another dimension. Look at this freaking guy right here. What's up? Hold on, one second. Are you calling me? Are you the stranger on the phone? You look like you're like two feet tall. If that bottom right there of the house is the floor, then how tall is this man really? He's gone. He made like his hair and disappeared. Okay, I got you. Let me slowly make my way over to my phone that isn't ringing anymore. Hey, Sarah. Who are you? I left a gift on your bed. You left me a gift on what my bed. What the fuck is this? Yo, chill. Family friendly. What if he just left like a fat shit on the bed? Like he just took the fattest duke. He just left the fattest, wettest, Taco Bell, chimichanga-esque type shit. Let me see. Oh my goodness. For a second, I really thought. I really thought there's a rose on the bed. I'm allergic to flowers, you asshole. They make my nose stuffy. You could call my cell phone, but I guess you can call my old phone. I'm surprised I don't have to wind it up to talk. You know those phones that look like you're holding a cup to your ear? Those are some old school ass phones. This is basically a step above that. How did you get into my house? There's a flashlight on the table in the back. I recommend you take it. Complimentary? Thank you. I mean, this is my flashlight. Unless you put that there and then I just acted like I had that the entire time, but... I guess we're taking this old school flashlight. He couldn't even give me a flashlight that doesn't look like it has shit stains on- Oh, Jesus. Please. I'm sorry. I was gonna say he looked like he shoved that flashlight up his ass because it was kind of dirty. It was a little dirty. It was quite a bit nutty. Sorry, everybody. I don't even know why that accent came out. I'm not even British, mate. I know you like riddles. I have one riddle for you. You have one minute to find it or I'll go in. I have another riddle for you. It has you. a path, but no traveler. It has houses, but no residents. It has voices, but no tongue. It is right beside us, but we don't see it. What is it? Your mom? Your dad? Your sister? Fuck. Hold on. H how do I find it? Do I really only have one minute? Is that it? What is that? Bro, what in the contraption is that? Why do you have an old school typewriter? Who the fuck is this lady? Let me go in here. Whose bed is this? The globe? I did it! I think I did it, right? Why do I walk so slow, everybody? This is so sad. It has a hat, but no head. It contains letters, but it's not a book. It writes what's written, but it's not a person. What is it? Who is this cat in the hat, mother sucker? Green eggs and ham, bitch ass. Hold on, wait. There is something glowing under here. Is this it? That's not it. Okay, hold on, hold on. It has a hat but no head it contains letters but it's not a book it writes what's written oh it's the old school typewriter the one that i was just crapping on just now hold on i'm making it to you i'm part human part snail apparently because i'm so freaking slow got it oh man this dude is super watching me because he calls me as soon as i find the item that he's riddling me dude's the riddler a white giant box it holds a secret with bright eyes and vocal words what is it He's really trying to win my heart, too, with the rose on the bed. I don't even think he's the Riddler. He's the Rizzler. A white giant box that holds a secret with bright eyes and vocal words. I think I know what you're talking about. This thing? Nope. The TV? The television? Please don't jump scare me in the dark, man. I can barely see! Don't do this to me! Your time is running out. Please shut up! Why the fuck are you talking to me? Open the door, open the door. What is it? What is it? What is it? I'm getting the chills that kill. I'm getting the chills. I can feel the leg hairs on my back. The leg hairs on my back. That's how scared I am. Why do I have leg hairs on my back? Please don't do this. 
Please, 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 I'm playing. I'm a pussy boy. I don't know what it is. Please don't hurt me. Baby, don't hurt me. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Do, 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 do. No, 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 no. Please, 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 please. Come on, what is it? That noise is so freaking obnoxious. I can just imagine this dude just like grabbing the shit out of it. Go ahead. Show me that. Oh my goodness. Bro, you're not even intimidating. You look like you should be doing my taxes. I don't even know where this dude learned his riddles, but they must be from a book of the world's dumbest riddles because I don't even understand this. It was the fridge. It was the fridge. Wow. Yeah, like I said, the world's dumbest riddles book. He must be an avid reader of that because ain't no Tell way. the truth. I wasn't surprised. Here is your final riddle. If a man were hiding in your house, where would he hide? Don't. Don't, 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 don't. I'm leaving. I'm leaving! <laughs> what the fuck? Oh God! What is this? In the closet? Bro! Oh, I hate that noise. So obnoxious. Where? <laughs> oh my goodness bro is just feeding me riddles inside of that closet in a well-dressed 200 dollars suit probably Next game today's episode is called Mom's Tent. The title kind of caught my eye because I'm like, Mom's Tent? What is the difference between Mom's Tent and Dad's Tent? But we are going to figure it out right now. The context is, your mother had to leave the house to solve some problems. And you would have to take care of your tent until she returned so as not to lose the income at the end of the day. It is 2045. I understood. You couldn't just say 845? Like, you're making me do math in my head? Like, come on now. But that's my mom's tent right over here. Okay. So I just have to keep an eye on the vegetables. All right. I, from the looks of it, it looks like I'm going to be running from somebody. Honestly. Probably. But this is my home. My humble abode. Cool. I'm dying in here. It seems like mom locked her door. I wonder what kind of problems mom had. Oh, shit. <laughs> A car is here. Seems a customer has arrived. Hello, my name is Markiplier. Could you give me one pack of spinach? Of course. Spinach? That's spinach, right? I don't even know. But there you go. All right, you're welcome. Dude didn't even pay me. He just asked for spinach. I guess we just wait here for customers because there's nothing to do in my house right now. Mom locked the only interesting door in the house, which is her room. So I'm just going to chill here. Until somebody comes back. But didn't that person look like Markiplier, though? Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name's Markiplier. <laughs> I know. I'm dumb. I'm making myself laugh, and it's not even funny. Oh, another car's here. Time to act professional. Hi, young lady. Where's the store owner? I need four potatoes. I'm the store owner, beach. She's not here at the moment, but I can assist you. See, I'm assisting you right now. Here you go. Everybody's so rude here. What kind of place do we live in where people don't even have the common courtesy or the respect to say, you're welcome, thank you, bless you, hakuna matata, none of that. Everybody over here just asking and asking and asking, and then they just called me a little girl. I'm a grown-ass man, bro! Oh, no! Oh, shoot. That's a big truck. I was on my phone because I was getting no action. That honestly looks like an ice cream truck or a prison truck. Or it could be both. It could be prisoners that sell ice cream. Or it could be ice cream that sells prisoners. Oh, nothing. Oh, my goodness! Who the fuck is that Somebody's guy? just standing there. Hey, what are you doing? Just come over here and rob the place already. Instead of just standing there and creeping me out, you're giving me anxiety. Honestly, just watching me like that, it's kind of freaking me out. 
because I played another game where somebody was completely well dressed. I think they had on the same exact skinny tie that you have on and they were just standing in my house. Seems a customer has arrived. Whatever the reason you're here alone, give me three tomatoes. Three tomatoes coming right up with all that attitude and sass. Boom, got him. And somebody's still over there just watching me. I really feel like... The person's gone. Why? Yo, dude, well-dressed man. Oh wait, there he is. Oh shoot. He's actually kind of making me sweat under my underboob. What do you want? He's walking like an AI. This dude's an NPC. Seems a customer has arrived. All right, everybody. Let's be on edge. Hello, little girl. Could I use the bathroom in your house? The next stop is very far from here. He kind of looked like he was already peeing behind the tree when he was just randomly standing there. But I'll just say yes to move the story along. And let's see where you go. Wait, I can't leave? Now I can't leave mom's tent? Now mom's tent has a weird hold on me? What kind of problems was mom solving? Well, it's taking so long. I better check. Famous last words from a famous little girl. I'm just kidding. The famous little girl wasn't so famous. Where are you? Woo! Wait, a knife? The man who seemed to be good attacks again. So I got ending one. What do I do about ending two? Okay, what happens if we say no? I thought he was gonna instantly kill me. Is that a knife in his hand? No, it's not. He doesn't have anything in his hand yet. So I guess I had a knife inside of my bathroom? That doesn't make sense. Where did he get the knife? He probably has the knife in the pocket. Duh. So do we just... <laughs> Why would you let this dude use your bathroom, though? Like, he could literally take a piss or a shit anywhere in these woods. Well, it's taking so long, I better go check. I am not going to go check. That is the one thing that I will not do. I can't go in my mom's room still. I can't go in my fake cabinets with my fake plates and my fake knives, please. Come on, man. Do I call on the phone? I call on the phone. Okay, great. I'm pretty sure the killer can hear this, right? You noticed something was wrong and called the authorities. Everything went well so far. What do you mean so far? Like when they hear the sirens, what is this dude gonna do? He's just gonna jump out the window or he's gonna open the door, kill me, and then run. Last game of today's episode is called Fear Underground. You are a knight in shining armor, literally, and you are trapped in a cave. I think you are spelunking. I mentioned in a previous video that I've been watching a lot of spelunking horror stories, and to play a spelunking horror game again, it's actually pretty cool, because I feel like I'm slightly a bit more knowledgeable. I feel like it's one of the most dangerous things that you could do, but I don't understand how this man's got in here, but here we are, and we just have to just tough it out. So let's see how we are gonna get out of this. I already see a giant hole that I can go through. So no problem. I will show you the way. If you hear a cave whispering to you, do not follow the sound. That is the one thing that you should not do. But I guess we're doing it. W A S D to move. E interactive. Okay. The graphics look beautiful, by Where the way. Am I? I What's like that it. nasty oh. smell. Of stench, bro. Dead bodies. Could this be a dream? I feel like I can smell how bad it smells down here. Passed out. I got knocked out. I don't remember anything. What are you talking about, What are you talking about, boy? What? Hey! You die? What do you mean I die? I didn't even know. That thing just popped out like a boner, bro. How am I supposed to know that? Okay, I guess I'm gonna take it easy. Because you can't have spelunking without random bugs in your face. So the YouTube videos that I've been watching about spelunking horror stories, they either got stuck or the cave got flooded and then they ended up getting hypothermia and then they ended up drowning because they were so cold and they couldn't get out. But the scariest ones to me have to be if you get stuck. I hate that. I hate being in like tight spaces. What do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? What do you want? You want me to get on my hands and knees? You want me to bounce my ass? I really am though, look at that. Okay, it's on a timer. 
We got this. So just wait for this thing to go back inside of its hole. There you go. And we are just gonna mosey on over. I don't even know if I made that made sense. I'm so glad I'm on this side of the cave. So glad. What in the world was that? Freaking insects feasting on a human body. You can't be serious right now. I got stuck in the worst cave in the world. Go down. Sure. Whoa. What, in the fireball? What is this? Oh, shoot! I can actually stand up? Bro, I stood up so quick. Like, my old ass knees, they would have cracked like... <laughs> Alright. I guess. Let's go this way. What? Is that a hand? Let me give you a hand type shit? Bro's doing that thing when is you put your hand out the car window and you feel you the breeze. Why? Oh! Okay, I get it. The water's coming. You want me to run? Thumbs up because you're an asshole. I go back. I think I have to go back. The water's rising. It's about to tickle my balls. Okay, we are getting out of here. I definitely went the wrong way. I should have just kept going up. Up is the way to go. Why would you ever go down? Down is the demon. That's what it stands for. Yeah, back that ass on up. Back that ass up. Oh, shit. Ah! Okay, run. No, don't go back down there. Slowly, Michael Jackson, your way. Back up this thing. I love that you can't turn back. That is actually hilarious. I said that is actually hilarious, but I'm not laughing. It's kind of like when someone says, that's so funny, but they don't laugh at all. It makes me feel bad. They're like, oh, that is so hilarious. But they have a straight face the whole time. And they even have a face like you farted. Oh, that's that's so funny. Huh. Oh, man, you're hilarious, Jay. And then they just have an attitude, too. Okay. What are these nasty creatures? Hey. Is this real? Calm down, calm down. What do I do? What the heck? I don't go this way. I guess I just slide back down. And then maybe we just backtrack. That's all we do. Nothing wrong with that. Why do I feel like the way down is a lot longer? Yeah, just keep going this way. I'm not going down. I'm just gonna keep backing up. I think, right? Oh, I can go this way. Yes. Bro, I would be so confused being in this cave. Like, I need directions to go to places I've been to 10 times. That's how bad my sense of directions are. I feel like I'm good with um, following directions. But in, if you asked me where I to get from, like, point A to point B, like, you would end up in the Bermuda I'm Triangle if I gave you directions. I'm tired climbing through this labyrinth of madness. That looked like a fake titty. You know, like when they do breast surgeries? Those look like the fake ass titties that they put in. But let's just keep going this way. Nope, don't go that way. I'll just keep going this way. Nope, fuck. I told you, I have a bad sense of direction. Please tell me I'm still going the right way. I'm so sick of seeing this dude's ass. I feel like I can smell it. Can I stand up? Wait, where's my shroom? Where's my mushroom? What? Oh, shit. Okay, don't go that way. Let's go back. Let's keep going back. That's what we are going to do. I really hope I'm going the right way. I can no longer go back. I can't even crawl back like this. So I have to either turn or I have to go forward, but I feel like I'm reaching dead ends. So there's gotta be something specific that I'm not doing. Maybe I crawl even lower? Or maybe I just keep going this way. Yeah, there what you go. Oh! I understand. I must back up. Okay, back that ass up, back that ass up. Go this way. Oh! Bro. Okay, okay, okay. No! 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 What the fuck? Oh my god. I'm about to be crushed by the ceiling. How? Stop! What do I do? Bro! That you die is so obnoxious because it should be you died, but just the fact that you die 
It feels like a slap in the face. Like it hits harder than you died. I don't know what it is. I can't explain it. Mushroom. I might find this useful. The fuck do I use that for? I honestly don't know where to go, everybody. I understand. Do I, I keep back backing up? I don't think I do. No, I definitely don't. But where do I go from here? Like, these sharp ass blades are gonna pinch my ass. Hold on. How do I take the mushroom thing back out? Oh my god. Wait! I'm about to be Hold on! By the ceiling. Yo tomate, cool side! Fuck! Oh wait! Backing that ass up does work confirmed. I can't believe that. We slid out of that. Like some DMs we wish we never sent. I love it. Okay, my knight in shining armor. White knight. I love it. I'll take that. So yeah, this is like a little light bulb. These are complimentary horror game flashlights in like the 1300s. I'll Dead take end. it. Sometimes you gotta get creative with it. With a very low ceiling. Can I try lowering it? Oh, it oh. Spiders. 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 Me and what could be more disgusting? What are their goals? Bro's talking to himself twice. Never seen that before. What are you looking at, ugly? <gasps> yeah, what are you looking at, ugly? Oh, God. What a place this is. <laughs> Bro, boo-hooing right now. Wait a minute. You can't panic. Like, you're a knight. Didn't you have to go through trials? Didn't you have to go through battles? The fuck you crying for? I'm not alone here. Hey! That means there's hope. How you doing, fellow knight? Yeah, big hug? No problem. Thank you for playing the demo. I had game to wish list. That was pretty cool. I mean, obviously the graphics and the atmosphere were the best parts about this game, but I do want to see more horror games that deal with spelunking or just being trapped inside of caves because that is such a freaky idea by itself. All right, everybody, but that's going to do it for this episode of Free Random Games. Hopefully you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, make sure you give it one big fat like and tell a friend today that Jay from the Cove Scouts is that dude.